Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude, stud. Stud, come here. Let's let that guy go, because that is just a horse. We are catching some studs, dude. Alrighty, what is going on guys? We are back with another video today. It is a dark, gloomy, foggy day out here. And uh, it's kind of middle of the day, almost afternoon already. Bounced around a bunch today, trying to find that little sweet spot where we might set up shop for the entirety of the night and hunt for some big walleyes. And I think that's gonna kind of be the goal and to hunt down some big fish this evening and throughout tonight meaning we're probably going to sleep out here on the ice tonight so anytime you do this kind of big deal where you're going to spend a ton of time voluntarily in one location it's best to run around so i've hit multiple spots today and i found one just in the quick little bit of running around where i think there's some fish so we're going to kind of set up shop, shop here i'm going to drill a bunch of holes and then we're going to kind of start hole hopping through them probably get a set line out and uh, eventually, later in the afternoon, we're going to pop the big otter up and spend the overnight into it. But like I said, the goal today is to uh, hopefully get into a decent night bite. And if we're not going to get into a decent night bite, hopefully get into a good last light and first light bite on both ends. But it's too nice of a day. I always like spending the night out here in the otter hub when I can and when the weather's nice. When you have low wind, it's going to be relatively moderate temperatures out. You know, the low is like 18, 20 degrees tonight. So... We're gonna have a really nice night to spend in the shack with hopefully a whole bunch of hungry walleyes under us. And I fished this spot probably a week ago and I kind of like flirted with catching some big fish and it just didn't quite happen. So if we could put a bunch of walleyes on the ice, 24, 25, 26 inches, that would be outstanding because I'm 99% sure they're living here. And the marks I've marked just running through with a couple of holes I've already drilled, big marks. So stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. We're in it for the long haul. We're gonna camp overnight in the shack and hopefully catch a bunch of big walleyes. Ooh, she's running. Get a little slack. Got him right there. That's feeling right. That's feeling good. I'm liking that. Well, the set lines, I actually just caught a, another small one on this. And this is going to be definitely a little bit more solid fish. The set line's proven to be very advantageous so far with a real big minnow on it set up high. This is a heavy fish. This is gonna be a really nice fish here. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're in leader. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude, stud. Stud, come here. Oh my goodness, dude. Look how thick that fish is. Look how thick that fish is. Let me get him popped off real quick here. Some guys just came up and set up right behind me, so I'm kind of talking a little bit quiet. Come on, just barely hooked. There we go, dude. Wow, what a fish, man. You know, I'm marking some jigging, just not getting them all the bite. Look at that right there. Wow, dude, that is incredible. What a thick, beefy, stocky fish that is. Wow, you can't find a built any better than that right there. Let's let that guy go, because that is just a horse big tall one on the beaver dam tip up dude so worth it to run that extra line look at that just got to make sure you're on top of them and definitely been doing the legwork to make sure we're dropping the set lines on fish look at that just fills that hole wow dude my hands are cold from running around but i think we're gonna Get the shack popped up, get a little heat going and warm up inside and keep these set lines going because that is too good right there. Wow, dude, what a fish. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Got him. Right there. It's feeling good too. It's feeling real good. 
Got to get that deucer out. All right. Pop that out of the water here. Got one on the eat a jig. Finally, it's just feeling heavy. Look at this fight. <laughs> oh, dude, I love it. You know, we're jigging some deeper water today. We're going to see leader here in a second. This is kind of a bizarre fight. I wonder if I got him hooked kind of goofy here. Oh, good head shakes now. Now he's getting real heavy right here. Anytime that line angle starts changing real fast. Oh, am I in the ice? Oh, there we go. I got stuck in the ice. All right, we're in leader. Got a hole full of slush here. Oh, yes. Nice walleye, though. Super nice fish. Come here, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Finally got one to eat the old spoon. It's been a little bit. There we go. Tungsten. Castmaster spoon. There's a nice one in the old otter. Hands were getting cold outside, so anytime I can kind of set the shack up and just kind of run through my holes, pop back inside, we'll take it. That's a super nice fish right there. Nothing wrong with that one. We got cameras going. We're catching some nice walleyes. How are you going to complain about it right there? Beautiful fish, and man, they are thick, dude. Very thick fish. Let's let that guy go. And hopefully we'll do it again. See you later, buddy. It's as good as it gets right there. And that is the deal right there. Tipping that with just a kind of a bigger chunk of minnow. It's all tangled up on me right now, but I absolutely falling in love with this size spoon. Quarter ounce DR, Acme DR, um, Castmaster. Stands for drop rate. Solid tungsten spoon. Gets to the bottom very quick when you're fishing this deeper stuff. So whether you're hole hopping or just fishing in the shack and you need something that you can kind of rifle around, fish quick and aggressively. It is a phenomenal option. Right there. Fish on. Just hopping around a little bit. This is going to be an intermediate sized one here still feeling all right though still feeling all right Get that deucer out man he finally been marking a lot of them and this one just finally oh yeah nice walleye nice walleye just fired up a bit there's a couple of guys now on this kind of larger spot here but there we go another nice walleye right there huh Take them like that all day long. Talk kind of quiet, because like I said, there's a few other people around. And I hate being the loud, obnoxious guy yelling into a camera all the time, but there we go. Nice fish right there. Take them like that, 18 incher. Back he goes. Fish of all sizes so far. That little guy right there, man. I do not have enough good things to say about it. The only real tweak I do is I'll pull this front split ring off and just snap it on. It still has plenty of that swing and that motion. That front split ring, not needed in my opinion, but big beefy hook, absolutely needed. So we'll bait back up again and send her back down. These worth their weight in gold. Just keeps it a little bit drier in here for the evening. We're gonna get heater right there. I think we're gonna put holes over there. But these will well worth the investment. Waterproof. Get like the three quarter, the half inch, the thickest ones you can find. They go a long ways if you're gonna camp out on the ice. running got him right there feeling heavy feeling real heavy dude that's what we're after it's gonna be what we're after always worth running a live bait setup dude, this is gonna be a big walleye this is gonna be a real big walleye here come on buddy this is what we're after I took my mic off for a second so I could take a jacket off. All right, that's how much line this fish has already run. Big head shakes, man. Big head shakes. 
go real light hands when we get them close to the hole and you guys start seeing leader. Dude, this is what we're after for sure. For sure. Come on, buddy. Oh, real big head shakes, dude. Here's leader. This is where you want to get real light with them. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a toad, man. It's an absolute toad. Come on. Oh, oh, there he is. Look at that, dude. Look at that. <laughs> wow, man. Look at that fish. That is what we're after right there. Let's get that treble popped out. You know, some days, running that extra set line might not always lead to a ton of fish, but you stick a piece of big meat on there, and it can absolutely be the biggest fish of the day sometimes. And that is a super quality walleye right there. About as good as it gets. Catching them on the old beaver dam, on the set line. Wow, hopefully the audio's all right as I took my mic off right before, but dude, that is exactly what we're after. Got a little dicey at the hole there, but hook good. Good fluorocarbon leader. Let's let that guy go. Too cool, man. Going back. And isn't that a pretty sight right there? Angry, man. Angry. <laughs> well, there we go. That is a nice fish. Well worth a little bit of extra effort sometimes to run that set line. So we caught a couple really nice fish on those set lines so far today. And one thing you're noticing is that a lot of times when you're going hole to hole to hole, keep an eye on a couple things. How far off the bottom are those fish coming in when you're jig fishing? You know, we're sitting in like 28, 27 feet of water right now. And a lot of times it seems like those smaller marks will only elevate like a couple feet. But those bigger marks, a lot of times, they're coming in like four feet, three feet off the bottom. So they're kind of, when those fish seem to be coming in, they're generally coming into something that's like five or six feet off the bottom. So we, one thing you could do with those set lines, and it works really good when you're running bigger bait like we are today, you know, sucker minnows or something big like that, four or five inches long, is keep that thing way up off the bottom. And those fish could see it from a really long ways away when you keep it up there. And you can kind of imagine just a bunch of, you know, walleye swimming around the bottom. And then this big minnow constantly fighting that weight, trying to get away up high. And it's one of those deals where a lot of times it's almost like when you're base and crappie fishing. We all know to kind of keep that jig way up above the fish to kind of trigger them to fly up to get more aggressive. The same thing goes to your set lines. Just by keeping a larger distance between kind of where those fish are coming in and where that bait is, it allows more fish to see it. A lot of times the bigger fish key on it and overall it just attracts a lot more fish because you kind of got that big piece of meat just hanging way up high in the water column. All right, guys, the sun is finally gone down. We're basically there. And uh, kind of a slow last 45 minutes to an hour. Just kind of seemed like the fish just weren't really around as much as they were. But we got the Otter Pro Lodge all set up, all the camp and stuff's inside. So it's time to retreat into the shack, eat some food, watch the Mega Live, maybe get a little dead stick going in there. And then maybe we'll either jig in there in the other hole or we'll set out. Um, a beaver dam lighted tip up out kind of on the shallower piece of this so we'll see but uh, it is going to be a very relaxing quiet night on the ice as there is nobody anymore within sight of me and there's no wind tonight and it's still like 20 degrees outside so beautiful night to spend a night in solitude out here on the ice so let's jump inside we got to get organized a little bit and uh, hopefully see how the night bite goes for dinner hot pockets the official meal of ice fishing you can throw them on a heater. You can heat them up almost any way possible. Zero utensils needed, and uh, they're meant to be frozen. So we're gonna eat a little bit of dinner. I'm seeing fish all over the Mega Live. I mean, I shouldn't say all over. There's plenty of walleyes working their way through the area. For whatever reason, they're not feeling it. They're just kind of creeping around real slow, but we do have time on our side as we're gonna be here for a while. So with any luck, we'll eat some food and uh, a rod will go off and uh, we'll catch a big walleye. So while we run the one dead stick in the shack, I'm gonna spread out my second line and run the beaver dam. Northern lights tip up. It's got a little battery compartment right here. You basically just put three triple A's in there and now you have a, a tip up that works, a tip up light that works super well. Um, right on contact, so it's kind of a no flawed system. If there's one thing that anybody who's done enough nighttime tip up fishing hates, it's having to carry around all the ridiculous, ridiculous lights which are always breaking. This one works super simple. The second the flag 
touches the spindle, there you go. Fish runs, flag pops, boom, back on. And uh, that is as simple as it gets right there. So, and it's super bright. So I'll be able to see it from the shack, you know, no problem. So we'll run the one dead stick in there, tip up out here, see what happens. This is what we're looking for. Dead stick, big walleye. And there's a lot of this going on. They're just kind of skirting around and not really interacting too much. All right, boys. Sure enough, got done eating a little food. And fish on. I like to do kind of a big wheeling hook set like that. I'm in some deeper water. And I'm just fishing some six pound. Oh, we're in the ice for a second. <laughs> oh, the late at night bite. How are you gonna beat it? Whenever the bite is slow, sometimes just giving yourself a little bit more time can be the difference. Just fishing the Elliott rods the two brothers rods to be just the simple dead stick rod and i just running a slip bob around here so i got kind of a little bit of visual oh this is gonna be a nice walleye man come on buddy oh yeah big chunker man big chunker look at the shoulders on this thing man wow look at that fish dude hey gonna beat that right there as good as it gets Big fatties, man, after dark. Look at the head and shoulders on that thing. It's getting popped off quick. Well, there you go. Walleye number one in the shack. It is, uh, what time is it? 6.45. There we go. Well worth it already. Let's let that guy go. Dude, just fills the hole. Wow, are they healthy, man. <laughs> there he goes back healthy as can be i like it man if we only do that a few more times tonight it's well worth it for quality of fish like that it's tough to get that kind of i mean really overall today this the average size fish we've got pretty tough to go a lot of places through the ice and beat that so let's bait back up do it again super simple setup though and i'm just kind of kicking back messing around eating a little food and uh, playing around on the phone. Basically, you could sit here and jig too, but basically all I'm doing, 2B slip bobber, or <laughs> 2B dead stick rod. Most time I never run a slip bobber on here, but it's kind of a good just visual cue. It also lets you just kind of sit here with the rod open like this on the bobber stop. And obviously you just watch till that bobber sinks away, come over and uh, reel down and set the hook. And there we go, bait back up, do it again. Wow, literally just let that last fish go. Got a really big minnow on here. I'm just gonna kind of make sure he eats it. I just watched that fish come up. Suck that thing down right off the live. I got the <laughs> Helix 9 Mega Live right here and i'm just sitting in my cot watching the tv screen got him feeling good feeling good then he just stopped me right there getting a lot of head shakes though and then just a lot of weight like this come on buddy come on we just want to take a look at you. If this isn't fun, I don't know what is, dude. Sitting out here at night. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. I can see him. Dude, our quality is so good tonight. Oh, my goodness, dude. The weight on these fish, man. Look at that thing. That is a stud, man. Absolute stud. 
Wow. Dude, how is this? We are catching some studs, dude. This doesn't, this is not like a normal thing. Just to average, you know, fish like this. Now, Grant, we've caught a couple smaller than this. But, dude, our quality is so good right now. This is unbelievable. That last fish came at 6.45 at 7.11 right now. Look at that, dude. Wow, does it get any better than that? Big stud walleyes, after dark, sleeping out on the ice. No sleeping's been done yet, but we sure are getting some nice fish. Get his tail down the hole so he doesn't explode and throw water everywhere here. What a fun bite, man. Just going to revive him back real quick. He's just going to suddenly pop and explode here. There he goes, kicking away. That's cool, man. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> I'm literally watching another fish on the live right now down there. But, well, let's bait back up, do it again. I don't know what else to say. I'll take lower numbers of bigger fish any day of the week. Look at that beautiful sight. That bright glowing red light is a beaver dam northern lights tip up. And that is our second set line we're fishing tonight. Is it spinning though? Or what do we got going on? Fish on, right there. Feeling heavy, man, feeling heavy. All about the night bite tonight. Come on. There you go, that's how much line he ran. So we got about 24 feet of line to go here. Real easy on him, it's gonna be another, I mean, it's feeling heavy for sure here. And I didn't wanna run two dead sticks in the shack. I kinda wanted to spread my dead sticks out a little bit. Here's leader. Oh, oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Oh man, dude, look at that fish. Look at that one. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Wow, dude, what, what a fun afternoon into night this has been. Catching a bunch of nice walleyes, whether it's on the tip ups, the dead sticks, or jigging. We'll go ahead and get this guy popped off real quick. And here's what I'm feeding him. Big old sucker minnows right there. There we go. Just like that, he's off. Another super fat, chunky, probably 24 inch walleye. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better as far as the size quality goes here. And just fat, dude. Every last one of them. Awesome. Let's let that guy go. Get back to the shack. Bait up. Oh. <laughs> And do it again because we are having some fun out here all by ourselves late at night sitting over some deep hard bottom structure and just having a ball catching some big old walleye we'll take it man it doesn't get any better are we rolling as you can tell i look a little bit more tired than the last one fell asleep woke up to the drag going off Got him. Man, I wasn't sure how much, I wasn't sure how much line he ran out. So whenever you're not sure about that, do a lot of reeling. And then a big swing like that. Tell you what, man, feeling right. Okay, there's our bobber stop. Oh. He's stopping us right in the middle of the water column. <laughs> it's going to be a nice fish. Dude, look at that. How are you going to beat it, dude? Big wide head shakes on this one. Unless he's fooling me. Come on, bud. Sorry if I'm short of words. I literally woke up oh yes from a dead sleep just a second ago look at that man 
They're just cookie cutters. They're just cookie cutter big fish. What time is it? Let me, let's look at a time check here. We got, oh wow, it's only 10.30. Well, basically we're gonna end up getting fished out of bait prior to making it through the night, which <laughs> I guess is never a bad problem. Basically got a dozen big minnows. It was like, well, you know, if we use them, um, that's gonna be a pretty decent night. And it obviously is a pretty decent night. Dragging big minnows out of big walleyes. Unbelievable, man. We have done some damage on some big walleyes today. It's been a lot of fun. It's like every fish seems to look just like this. How it's just thick, heavy, and like mid-20s to low-20s inch fish. But just thick dude heavy carrying a lot of weight big shoulders on them amazing dude amazing night of fishing right there and man these fish just fill eight inch holes i mean these are just that's as good as it gets right there see you later big mama dude unbelievable unbelievable crazy i'm speechless on how well we've caught these big fish after dark well there are no complaints for me we are certainly doing pretty good on our big walleye video i kind of said at the beginning of this video i was like i know we're not going to probably catch a ton but the size should be there and lo and behold it was so i'm satisfied with that but if you guys have any questions on dead sticking or location the exact locations we're fishing on these deep water structures or anything like that Mitch was with me yesterday and we filmed five different Walleye Now app videos basically on this body of water. So get on over to the Walleye Now app available Google Play in the app store. So click on Let's Go Fish at the bottom, click ice, and there's just a ton of videos. It will be under the natural lake category. Ton of videos on there. I'm breaking down a lot of this stuff. Um, dead stick, best presentations right now, all that little stuff, deep water locations, exactly where I'm set up right now. All those little things that ultimately kind of lead you to success on a bite like this. But um, there's no complaints for me, man. Wow, we are doing all right on the size for sure. Right there. Well, it is now the middle of the night. Middle of the night here. I think we're somewhere around... 1 a.m. or something like that, but unbelievable, man. And it's, you know, we're just, I think we're just, the size, the size fish we're on is just, it's just kind of what it is. I think we're just on these bigger fish. I gotta get my line stuck off the ice here. Gotta get my line stuck off the ice here. What are we gonna do about that? Where's my scoop? No, that did not work. There we go. Cleared it there. The head shakes, the size, unbelievable. This fish ran a lot of line. You could just hear that drag going, and that's kind of what woke me up. Look at these. Look at this dude. There's our bobber stop right there. We just hit that. Crazy. Almost like what we're, we're even doing out here during the day. Look at these head shakes, dude. That is what you want to see right there. Come on. It's almost like routine now. We're just routinely catching really big fat walleyes. This one's like feeling the big, the biggest one yet, but it could be totally not true. Oh man, it is a good one. It is a good one, dude. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's nothing else to say really. I mean, we're just, we're just on studs right now and we're getting them to bite. 
the big meat hanging out over the basin in the middle of the night. Look at that, dude. I don't know if I've, I don't know if honestly I've had a night in uh, Minnesota or Wisconsin where I've averaged fish this big in quite a while. Pretty impressive. That's about as good as it gets right there. It's getting popped off. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Mainly because I'm super exhausted and tired right now. And just literally woke up 35 seconds ago. But <laughs> look at that, dude. Look at the fins on that. Look at that size of that tail. I mean, they're just big. They're built. They're beefy. It's as good as it gets right there, dude. Stud. Walleyes right there. Let's let that guy go. Wow, man. Crazy. Crazy. I don't even know if I'm going to... We even have another minnow left. If we just straight up fished ourselves out of minnows, we'll see. truck and on our way to the next lake currently to film hopefully the next video and uh, got off early this morning right as the sun was coming up as you guys saw and uh, loaded all the stuff up gonna have to get to the next boat landing here and swap some gear out take all the sleeping stuff out of the shack but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one not a ton of fish catches but exactly what I set out to do was hopefully put some big fish on the ice and 100% achieve that and uh, it felt good, it felt good to do that. And those fish, if you're in the Midwest or if you're outside of the Midwest, maybe don't know, those are special ones to get through the ice, to average fish that of that caliber. So it felt really good to put some of those bigger fish on camera. And uh, yeah, it was just a, anytime you can spend a night out um, in the shack and um, it's really more comfortable than you think it would be. Anytime you can spend a night out in the shack catching fish like that, with nobody around you it's obviously a win so um, with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this one make sure you guys check out all the contour merch down below we got the black camo sweatshirts back in stock which everybody loves I always link it down below Shelby's busy shipping stuff I'm busy promoting it on here on the YouTube site but uh, appreciate you guys watching this one I'm off to the next lake hopefully gonna do some good stuff here and uh, there's no rest for the wicked so appreciate you guys watching this if you guys are not yet stay tuned for more we'll see you next time